This ought to work. Well, so why are we here exactly? Heard Carey got himself a buck of mansion here. Done well. Where do you hear anything about Carey? In and about town. Scream sheets are full of shit about him. Oh, right. You weren't around. Mm-hmm. Your big night out. So what? Wanna pay him a visit? Yep. Seems as good a time as any. You always did have some beef with him, didn't you? Me? Nah. He's the one who couldn't decide whether to fuck me or boot me out of the band. Which were you hoping for? Problem with Care was he had a dick. Meaning I wasn't interested. But he was missing the balls. Only posed as a rebel to fit in. Actually desperate not to step on any toes. Arasaka's especially. You get along any better with the rest of the band? Others didn't give a rat's dick about me. Nancy just enjoyed controlling us. Treated us all like sex-scavenging half-wits. Which was kinda true for Henry, actually. Tried to get with Denny. Thing was, those two rarely shared the same state of consciousness at once. So I gotta hit Carrie's digs, look around, critique the drapes? Know what they're writing about him? He's depressed, attempted suicide. What, really worried he wants to hurt himself? Who knows? Either way, could give him some pointers. Meaning you want to go in person. Gotta hand you the reins again. Yes. Behaved myself last time, didn't I? I think I warrant another furlough for good behavior. <laughs> uh-huh. First Rogue, now Carrie. Who's next on the list of conjugal visits? Nobody. Just so happens the list of people I consider friends and who are still alive is pretty damn short. Exactly why I need to talk to Carrie. What was that about attempted suicide? Amateur hour. Didn't even cobble together the right audience. Tried to put a bullet through his skull in his room. Bodyguard took his gun like candy from a baby. Could just be the rumor mill. Sure, could. But I want to know. Okay, but I want to know what you plan to do. Nothing stupid, I promise. Just want to see how he's doing. How you plan to tell him it's you? Could be dealing with some real personal shit right now. Might not be the best time to mess with his head. V Care was always dealing with personal shit. That's why, in spite of everything else, we got along. Don't worry. I'll play it by ear, sensitively. First things first, we gotta get into that house. Okay, just let me know when you want to take the wheel. Please wait while I connect. <sighs> Boy. You'll 
never guess who. Huh? Can't hear you. Come back later? Maybe? Nah, come on. We're lucky the dog's even home. It's like symbolic.
fugly as seafood barf. Hope it was expensive, at least. Something's gotta justify this level of tacky. Straight from a catalog. Doubt Carrie picked this. Always ate out. Always. I know that one. An oldie but a goodie. What's... Old single we put out. No idea why Carrie hoards shit like that. Never fade away. Guess if I had a fave, it'd be that one. What's... Second Conflict. Carried always goes straight for kitsch with titles. Guess nothing's changed. Oh, beautiful butterfly carry emerging from his silky samurai Christmas. Give him that one. Probably the only actual necessity in this whole pad. He sits here and thinks, the fuck I need all this shit for? these myself back in our samurai days.
Looks like he's showering. Alone, too. Good thing, believe me. Okay, leave the rest to me. I'll get him out of there. Drop one of Misty's special pills. Let's go. Okay. So much better. Now let's see what you're up for show and which are actually strummable. We lost everything. Who the fuck? Keep playing. All right. Johnny? Carrie? No. <laughs> no. That is some fucking joke. Hang on. What did Silverhand tell me before he died? Told you to leave Samurai. Go your own way. Clearly I was right, as I often am. Johnny fucking Silverhand. Fuck. I mean, how? Surprise. Motherfucker! Okay. Weren't expecting me. I get it. Oh, fucking Contraire! Been waiting 50 years to do that. She had changed a bit. Sporting a new style, trying to stay hip. Yeah, kinda. What about you? Shit. Johnny. Oh, man. I need a drink. All right. Come on. Tell me. Why do you look like a small-time kleptopunk from the afterlife? This is V. You'd like him. The fuck, Johnny? Doesn't explain a thing. Nice place. Ain't seen much of it yet. Moved in after the fourth album came out. All sold well, apparently. Fuck you, Johnny. Don't even start. Who'd you sign with? Shit. With Arasaka. Mornings, I record at their studio. Then evenings, Yori pops over for a little neighborly cookout. Hmm. And who'd you really sign with? MSM Records. Another pillar of society. Come on. Sit down with me. Tell me where you've been all this time. Live here all by your lonesome? Nah, got my cook, Ariel, but... He's off today. Miguel... Uh, what am I... Uh, not your biz, June. Sit down. Start talking. Steal yourself for a long story. I just really want it to be tragic. Sad as all fuck over all those years. Cause if I hear you spent them with the nomads, open road, winning your hair, or cool and relaxed in orbit, and now you've just popped by to shit all over my life? Well, I'ma lose my damn mind. Oh, it is a heartbreaker. Oh, fuck! Remember? The one damn time Henry showed up sober and clean as a whistle. Uh-huh, and played absolute tripe. At least Danny was happy. Never did get what Denny saw in that guy. I mean, smart in that one. Maybe too smart for the company she kept. Nah, Denny always went for losers, incapable of dressing themselves. Oh, Hank was perfect. Half a brain and high all the time. She got to rescue him over and over again. 
Why'd you never try and fix me? Would've had to get in line, that's why. Looking at him now, those really were the best of times. Playing fucking rat infested dumps. Argued before every gig. Had no idea what we wanted to play, and never had Ned do our name. Nancy? Control freak. Henry smelled like zappers and piss. I was always stealing your pants. Hella good times, man. Stuff about you being depressed. It true. Nope. Promo stratagem. Suicide attempts too. Think putting a bullet through your skull will help your sales? Didn't work for you. Nobody remembers Samurai. Now you're just butthurt because I managed fine without you. Fuck me, got no answer to that. Still in touch with the gang. Just Nance. Changed her name to Bess Isis. Works for N54 News. Could track down Denny and Henry if you want. Maybe get together? You know, jam or something? Best Isis, damn, Nance really went for it. Though all I hear is part-time stripper with a thing for ancient Egypt. Shame you died. Sure she would have welcomed your input. How is she in general, besides having nothing to do with music? Could ask her yourself. Henry probably killed his own liver. Nah, I would have heard if he was gone. Got mutual friends. A few calls and I should be able to track him down. Denny might still be in the biz. Actually had talent. And the spine. Yeah, released something not too long ago. Moved to North Oak, too. You just said you weren't in touch. Didn't hear it from her. I think she might be avoiding me. You ever leave this house? Nope. You want to bring Samurai back? Nah, no. Could do one gig, play some dive where nobody plays us. I mean, got my reputation to think about. But I won't have to explain what happened, all this. Nah, we'll spare him. Hella boring story. Biochips, Arasaka's evil schemes, magic pills. We'll just say you're my new input. All right, let's do it. Fuck yeah! Okay! Send you Nancy's number in a sec. I'll go after Henry and Denny. Hmm. I'm not there. Figure it out with V. Sure. Uh, you two get along? Sure. Kid loves me. Yeah, I bet. How am I? Johnny, you okay? No. Ah, so you must be V. Johnny mentioned something like this might happen. You two have fun at least? <laughs> that a hint of disapproval I hear? Just sit tight for a bit. Rest. Don't worry about a thing. The hell is this concert thing? Did you hear that? Gets sharper as the pills wear off. So? Want to see Samurai live? Probably won't get another chance. What if this ends up like the rogue thing? One big letdown. Nah, this is different. Carrie needs this concert. Okay, calling Nancy. Fuck yeah, nice. Nancy? Uh, I mean, uh, Bess? Bess Isis? No, this is her underpaid, underappreciated assistant. Steven, N54 News, how can I help? Want to talk to Bess? She's not here. 
Calling from Kerry Uridine's residence. Cool. But Beth still isn't here. She was supposed to be back two days ago. Went to the Totentons to shoot some stuff, story on the Maelstrom. Call back next week or just watch the news. If anything happens to her, I'll be the first to cover it. Got a bad feeling, V. Think we better head to the Taunton tent. starting to come together. No media would ever go for the Taunton tents. Except Nancy. Come on, up you go. There's that green new place. We were there yesterday. Huh. Drawing up that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Like your style. Minimalist. Used to have chrome just like that. Start moving. Totten tents too? Fuck yeah! Third floor! If, if press the button! <laughs> well, my fingers are numb. Hear that? Tonight is today! Alright, guys! This one I like. Later. No problem. Dance. 
scale model. Copied everything. What, what do they serve? Their meat, meat and drinks? Nothing. It's just decoration. Advertising. No tourist trap for this city. Fuck, and I don't know, Joe. You've seen the totem tats, you've seen everything. Amigo today? One more word about him, and I stamp you out like a roach. Got it? Got it. Feels like I know this guy. Why? Pretty loud in here. You renovating? Ha ha! Good thing Royce can't hear you. Tinnitus, apple of his eye. Royce, eye. Ha ha! You a fan of your little gang group too? Well... More a fan of the classic, samurai and all that. Like this guy already. Just not a word to Royce, hey? Where'd you get your chompers done? Ah oh, shit! Forgot you ain't seen these buttes yet. You know the before, now you see the after. What do you think? You want the same? Twinsies? Nah, you look gonk as fuck. Looking for Bess Isis, N54 News. No, she's here. She is, but she's busy. Talking to Royce. He told me not to bother him. Oh, I'll do the bothering. Lead the way. Come on, then. Royce remember me fondly? Dunno. Hasn't mentioned you. Royce and Bess getting on all right? Well... She ain't too bright. Royce is being real fucking patient with her. How'd you get him to agree to talk? Don't think anyone ever asked him about music. Not serious, like. And Royce likes being taken serious. <laughs> Wait, I still have a couple of questions. Well, you think you got all you need? You wanted half an hour of my time, we're on day three. That's Nancy, all right. Change things up a bit. Didn't have you pegged for a music geek. But you know everything else about me, right? Hey. Maybe one more question from Bess. Why does Tinnitus only play the Toten Dance? Huh. Only place they get the right audience. The snob's the last thing I'd ever expect you to be. Cochlear implants. That's what Tinnitus plays on. So each of you is an instrument? 
Does that mean an element of mysticism? It's supposed to be one question. Went for a cruise on the Ebunike the other day. You're turf, right? Yeah. My people gave you a tour of the docks. Seemed a little busy. Might want to think about a better system than an old Athena 3. <laughs> Already pissing me off. What's worse, he might be right. Got some biz with Bez. I don't know him. Carry Uridine sent me. Ah, Uridine, of course. Uh, where would you put him on the musical map? You know map? what happens when you filter all the pulp and shit out of juice? Gets clean, smooth, soft. Flies off the shelves in Corpo supermarkets. And what's it look like? Yes, that's what. That's about where I'd put rocker boy music. Now get the fuck out, both of you. Wasted enough time. Come on, we'll scan you on the way out. Uh, give us a minute. here, but they'll check my files. If they find anything they don't like, which they will, they'll wipe everything, me included. All right, you got to get her out of this. But you came here to do a music fluff piece. I did, but then I stumbled on something bigger. What exactly? Stay tuned to N54 News to find out. You got to help me get out of here. How'd you plan to get out of this before I showed up? Ah, uh, I'd have thought of something. Pretty good at improvising. Might have tossed someone out a window again. Let me copy the data and get it out. They'll want to scan you too. Not as dumb as they look. Not about to do anything to draw any notice. Okay. Here. Got it. Delete yours, then try and distract me. I'll sneak out. Okay, try the window, guy's bathroom. <laughs> Classic. Then circle around the back. There's a sort of balcony there. I'll meet you by the elevator. On my way out. Go ahead, scan my stuff. All right, sit down. So we'll come by. You gotta be kidding me. I thought that was your you job. Look at that. She planned it all out. Had time, knows the place. Had practice, too. Most of our gigs she left via the window. Had to. Well, I could, but Algoth. Algoth? Seriously? No way. Not about to let him poke through my files. Roy said he made Algoth your guide. How's he supposed to know which files are okay and which aren't? He'll trash them all willy-nilly just so as not to displease his daddy. Fuck's sake, Jill. Uh, Seppo? Why him? Never talked to him. Uh, kind eyes. Good guy.
me. to die for. Let's find that elevator.
smooth as Ganic silk. Elevator so damn slow. Got my car downstairs. Got everything? Yep. Send you the files in a sec. Wonder how that other thing's going. Carrie, Henry, and Denny. You still in touch with anyone besides Carrie? Who's that? Oh shit, not good.
Oh, for fuck's sake! Could have been worse. This way you got a souvenir. Fuck souvenirs. I'm headed straight back to the editing room. Wanna talk? Gotta come with me. Clunker like this. Hope it gets us there in one piece. All right. So what's Carrie want? Wants to bring back samurai. One gig, one night. There is no samurai without Silverhand. Gonna be a gig in Silverhand's honor. What's got into Carrie all of a sudden? Thought he got over this ages ago. Well, guess it doesn't really matter. What's in it for me? A reunion with some old friends. Ah, come on. Carrie and Johnny were friends. That's it. We just floated around, sometimes got in their way. So what do you want? An interview with Carrie? Huh. Could write that myself, straight out of my ass. I'd want access to all his industry contacts, associates. Not a problem. Not as far as I can see. We're here. Hop out. All right, so, the concert? <sighs> Tell Carrie I'll put it together. Be in touch. Okay, thanks. Went pretty damn well. Now call Carrie. Security or style? Thanks to the bulletproof air hey. from Rayfield, so your only come. worry is getting stuck in traffic. Yep, she agreed. Even said she'd organize the gig. Still a control freak. Awesome. Managed to contact Henry or Danny? Just Henry so far. Dragged him out of rehab. Great story, actually. Henry didn't know Denny's been in Night City all this time. On his way over to see her now. Gonna be a surprise. We're all gonna meet over at Denny's. What, me too? Why? You're gonna play with us, aren't you? You're gonna meet the others. Send you the address.
see those. Mm, what happened here? She must have been renovating. Henry must have borrowed the truck. Gonk always was good at improvising. Maybe they're home. Try the intercom. Right then. Guess we keep looking. Beat us here. You fucking got? Who boy? Danny, what? Sounds sadly familiar. What are you doing here? This is really your house? V. This is uh, your fucking tool? We got a problem. You're gonna pay for this, you piece of shit! You bet I will! Just so I can come back again! Maybe then, you'll tell me why the hell you left me to die in the street! Left you to die? Ugh, I wish you would fucking die! Why am I even standing here talking to you? Get the fuck out! What, now? Already? No grand tour? Introduce me to the fam! Go anywhere near them and you're dead! This is supposed to be Henry's I surprise. I not! I'm a yeah, whack I obviously missed off. a few beats. Looks like oh, he what? was holding some sort of grudge. I don't know. So he flooded the pool with concrete. Don't know what! Henry but I did lost years of my life emotional. to a scop bag like you? Know what happened between yeah. them? From what I've come to understand, that how One day, it? then he disappeared without a word. Remember then a hit hell of a lot more than. I imagine that wasn't too hard in his state of mind, either out of it or in rehab. Yep, that is, till I gave Henry her address. What about the concert? I haven't gotten a chance to ask Denny yet. Doesn't look good though. V, talk to them. Carrie'll just make it worse. Uh, not really my biz. Go, go, they'll get past it in a sec. Carrie didn't piss all over himself out of joy when he saw me either. This your backup? In case you forgot why the hell you came here in the first place? Carrie sent me. It's about the concert. What concert? Why isn't he here talking to me? It's awkward. Carrie considers you both friends. What a sensitive guy. Shit. Given he's the one who set this flaming turd bag on my doorstep. We'll bring it back samurai. One night only. That's what he wants to get the crew together for? Sweet. But no fucking way. Not about to play with this shit stain. Danny! No. No way. Either him or me. Choose. Denny digs in her heels, we're done. How's it going? Like shit, man! Denny wants me out of the gig! And we already agreed on everything! What? Carrie's paying you? That's what this is about? Fuck. It's all fucking great. So you get him away from me and get the fuck off my lawn! Don't make me choose. You out of your fucking mind with the pool? You knew Carrie wanted to get Denny to play with us. Just wanted to clear the air. Fucking Prem. Maybe if someone would tell me what happened. Are you blind? Fucker filled my pool with cement. Maybe he had a good reason. Really? A reason? You gotta go without one or the other. Ah. Uh... Not a problem. Should be able to borrow someone else. 
One gig. Won't be the same, though. It won't ever be the same, Carrie. Pretty sure it's your call. Fuck really pisses me off. Then he's on a control kick, setting conditions. On the other hand, Henry's got scop for brains. Can't trust him. Thanks. Real helpful. V? Help me out with this, please. Ugh, if we gotta choose, let's play with Danny. Fuck, Carrie! Seriously? She's the one making a big deal out of this, not me! Listen, I'll get you- You know what, Carrie? Fuck you! Good thing Silverhand isn't here to see this. You done? Get out. All right, what about Nancy? We make contact. She's gonna set it all up and let us know. See you at the show. Fuck. Now I gotta find someone to clean this up. Okay, about all we can do for now. Except wait for Nancy to call. Okay? No. Just the sight of that douche wad reminded me how not okay it is. Don't worry, though. I'll be past it by showtime. Wonder what Henry did to her. So his fault after all. Well, normally, Denny's not a raging bitch. We're pretty sure she knew Henry wanted his concert. Hmm. Doubt she really gave a fuck about the pool. Sorry it played out like that. Set up super sweet like tonight at the red dirt. Talk to Carrie? Didn't change his mind or anything? No, no, not at all. He's pretty stoked, in fact. Haven't seen him like this since the Silverhand days. What about Henry? Still not on board? <sighs> Didn't even try. Not wasting my breath on that dick tip. Well, so see you tonight. And don't worry about your axe. 
Got the gear all rounded up. anyway. What do you want? Hey, v. V. Got something for you. Dunno if you know, but once upon a time, this was Silverhands. Fuck, Nancy just gets shit done. She just whisper Mikoshi in her ear. We'll be all set. How about you tell me what happened with Henry? <sighs> Ancient history. Kept falling into all sorts of crap, then I'd have to dig him out. You got tired of getting your hands dirty all the time. All wrong. Managed to get him a gig with a decent band. Henry quit using, got his shit together. Things were going great, so he booted me out of his life. So what happened next? You get off on this sort of drama? He ditched me. Partied with his new pals for a month. Then they tossed him out because he started acting up again. Ran into him on the street. Total mess. Gonk even fainted for effect. A tug at my heartstrings. What did you do? Left him right there and made damn sure he couldn't find me again. How you feeling, the head of the show? Weird. Like, I'm about to pretend to be myself. Plus, Johnny's out. Never thought I'd say I missed the bastard, but I damn well do. Hey, thanks for putting the gig together. Please. Carrie couldn't twiddle his own asshole without my help. Silverhand was probably the same. Huh, worse. At least Carrie did what I told him to do, kept out of my hair. Where's Carrie? Should be here any minute. Told me you play really well. Better be true, because there won't be a dress rehearsal. Right. Can't let that full house down. Honestly, got no idea who these people are. Just strays. Carrie didn't want word to get around. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. You think the media caught wind of this? For sure. Hyenas. I'd worry more about Henry's replacement. Carrie got Drowson from Cutthroat to join us. I know him. Seen him play. And? He any good. He's fine. Just fine. You're the mystery dish here. Pill time. Just be discreet. And if I start puking blood again? Don't go making a scene. This is Carrie's big nut. Got a feeling Nancy doesn't think I can keep up with them. Well... She's right. Ready to thrash? I don't know. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Now you mention it? It's getting worse. Maybe this gig isn't worth it. Fine, go out and play. I'll just sit back, tend to my bleeding ears. <laughs> okay. Fine. You got me. Have fun.
Let's motor. There you are. This is Drowson from Cutthroat. Hey, big fan, huge fan. You too? Got all their albums? I mean, I never Chill, dreamed of it. He's in the same boat as you. Want to talk to a star? Talk to me. And get that shake it under control. I think my shakes are the same. Or worse. Crowd got you stressed, or is it me? Fuck you. And miss you too. Alright, let's do this. for this thing. Felt like I had something to prove. To myself, to you, and whoever the fuck. But all I did was have a good time. That's it. Wanna do it again? Huh? No. That was enough. In that case, here. Take it. As a souvenir. You sure? Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. See what you're doing here. But I still plan on playing. Still hear you. Thanks, but not in the mood for hovering tables and voices from beyond the grave right now. 
Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. Uh, how's the gig? Helloprim. <laughs> Samurai's found its new growth. Damn shame I had to miss it. Nah, eh, can still come to my show. You shouldn't have, really. The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with when he broke into my house. Meaning you tried to shoot me. Yeah. And earlier... And... never mind. Cool. Feel like I fell asleep and woke up 50 years later. Back to work, then. Take care, V. I'll be in touch. V, how are you feeling? Can't believe that asshole Carrie just up and left you like this. <laughs> Guess he had somewhere to be. Badly. Probably writing a new song as we speak. <laughs> Isn't that what you wanted? To make him feel better? Better, but not that good. Johnny, don't ever leave me again. I can't live without you. A little of that could go a long way. Hope that's it for last requests. Not sure I can handle any more. It is, and I'm starting to regret you agreed to this concert thing. Huh. Here I thought I'd hear, thank you, V. Said it was important to you, this thing with Carrie. It was, but not more important than you. Carrie's got his life back, whereas we should be worrying about how to get yours back. Let's go. It was fine. Great. Axe went out of tune after chipping in. No worries. Can't hear the bass anyway. You were great. Oh, first time I ever heard that at a gig. Thanks. You have a good time? Hell yeah! Carrie even said I'm gonna see some Eddie's. I or mean, do. shit, never heard anything like it. And you're not likely to again. Well, I do all right. Mm hmm. Too damn well. Got me wondering where Carrie's been hiding you all this time. Hey, sick. Isn't this where Samurai played his first gig? Ah, oh, what a night. There's still legends about it. Music was so loud they had to replace all the windows. They made a new rule refusing service to new customers. There's a special on the menu just for Samurai fans. Ribs a la Silverhand. Pricey, sure, but you won't stop licking your fingers. This time. Disappointed. Fuck. Sorry. Don't really get how that show of yours works. Simple. Imagine the Johnny's along for the ride. Mm-hmm. Not him. You don't got no ticket either. Whatever. In any case, I'm at the wheel. And rather keep it that way. I got it. You'll work too. I mean. Something particular up, Carrie? A job of a kind that seems ideal for you. Corner of Gray and Malagra. Early morning. We'll talk. Cool.
Get in. Take you for a ride. As soon as I saw you that time, I thought to myself, those are some balls on that one. And I definitely need someone with a pair for this job. Never mind the testicles. Tell them to keep those hands at ten and two. Always wound up in a ditch whenever Kerry drove. These your wheels? God, no. Come on. Borrowed it. So no loss if we wreck it. That's the plan. Fuck. Knew it. So what good will my balls do us today? V. Some people in this town, they've gone completely whacked. You, you're gonna help me set things right in this shithole we call home. Uh-huh. How's that exactly? Yeah, there's this little girl group. Us cracks, right? Three birds from Japan. Laser pop scop. Yeah, big over in Asia. I mean, pfft. Vision. Now they signed some deal for an NUS tour. Want to promote it with a cover of my song. Can you believe that? Not about to let them play me like that. Right. So, what's the plan? The truck with the Us Cracks kid will be coming this way. Got it, We do it old style. Like last century. We blow the fucker up. No gear. Those bitches will have to cancel concerts. Carey solving his own problems. He used to just send in an army of lawyers. They made it all disappear while he tanned his bare ass by the pool. Must be some fuckery indeed. Be there in a sec. Here we are. Trunk, grab what's in there. Well, well, quite the arsenal. We're fighting for art. Art with a capital A. Come on, get to work. Hmm, I know the guy. This ain't about art. You got it. You know, they killed Ivy Coma right here. In this very spot. DJ, cloaked AV followed her limo. Almost nothing left of her afterwards. Or a limo. Turn out. Now later, she wasn't the target. Some biotechnica suit busy eating her out when the bullets started flying. Found the bodies just like that. Lay it out here. Right. Hide. Quick. What now? Now we wait. Automated modules, hollow spikes for better control of the vehicle, standard issue police tech. Nates, too. Where'd you get them? Same place you get designer drugs. The latest still patent pending audio vox and fresh ubaris. Black market. Nah, fans. There she is, right on the dot. I take the driver, you get his side shoe. We want him out of the truck. Sure you two, hope you what? know what you're doing. The hell was that? Out of the truck, on the ground, hands where I can see him. Get out, nice and easy, no weirdness, nothing will happen. Got the wrong truck, fuck we're not. I said easy. 
Now get down on the ground. Won't see it a third time. Oh, man, lose the iron. Let's talk it out. Not a word. It'll all be over soon. Oh, fucking hell. Access guard! Grab it! Pop the back. Quit squirming. And no gonk moves. What's inside? Your lucky day, Care. Uh, crates and crates quiet. of nothing but gear. Be over soon. Got your mixers, speakers, drums, cables by the mile. Hell yeah, we got a hit. Right, gents. Now, run along and don't look back. I said, Delta the fuck off. Now for the grand finale. Want this set to be a smoldering puddle of chrome and plastic when we're done. Ah, the new signature move. Mm-hmm, you got it. So don't miss. with you, V. Fuck me, Carrie. Meaning it's just a truck of toys for some plastic Japanese dolls. Might as well blow up a cotton candy stand. But still a big step forward. I hardly recognize the bastard. It's burning real nice. I'll grant you that. Thing is, I mean, what's it actually get you? If those little Bitches think they can make it big on my song. They got another thing coming. You even know what I had to sacrifice to get where I am? The price I paid for success? And those ten any whores want to clip my tune and expect me to just let them? Fucking pig ignorant hacks. Yeah, success. Always a sore spot of cares. See, nothing's changed. That's how you do biz in Night City. Respect, Care. You get me. Finally. Thanks. Cops! That's Delta. You try. Get him off our ass. I ran from the cops back in 2020 with Johnny, actually. High out of our damn mind. Pigs still couldn't catch us. <laughs> These gogs don't stand a chance. Fucking pigs! Lost them. <laughs> Paying out the ass for you. But it was worth every eddy. Nice one. We had to see a single eddy. Okay. Drop me off on Carnitas.
carry uridine eats at a dump like this. Chumbada. Best coffee in town right here. Thick as tar, and if they know you, they give you the Ganic stuff. Come on, my treat. Wow, coffee with a rock star. Now well, why not? First time for everything. When Samurai started out, we spent every any we had on guitars, strings, you know. Hey, Rachel! Good morning. Know this dump. Know that smell. But how? Hey, hey! Uh, almost nothing left over for food. But we still went across the street every day, right to Caliente. Stuffed our faces down Joe by the gallon. Johnny said we were so hungry and high we would have eaten the cardboard boxes out from under the bums outside. Of course he was wrong. The usual, Mr. Eurodyne? Mm-hmm. Double espresso, Jamaican blend, nothing else, no sugar. You got it. And for you? What he's having. Great. Be right back with it. Whew! Shit! Just coming down now. Whew! Fucking awesome. Last time I felt like this was back in Memphis. Last tour. Last concert vibes from the crowd, me on stage. Oh, fuck. Just thought about those us cracks cunts again. You think we got them? I'll tell you this much. If they don't back out now, give me a call. We'll convince them another way. Thanks. Hope they're off my sonar now, because if not, shit. Last thing I want is Johnny to have been right all along. What's Johnny got to do with any of this? Well, Johnny accused me of leaving Samurai for money and fame. But that's not true. No, no, it's true. Won't lie. But he also said I'd be putting myself on a corp leash. And that's not something you'll admit to. The us cracks thing. What if I'm a product just like those dolls? Drowning in dirty money instead of swimming in it. Johnny's dead. So they say. And you're alive. Decide whose truth matters more to you. Yours or someone else's. That a trick question? Only if you don't have the nads to answer it honestly. <sighs> Better be going. Thanks for, uh, you know. Don't mention it. Ah, shit!
Hey, Carrie. You know what I'm looking at? Us cracks concert announcement. This is not fucking happening. Wait, what? I thought we took care of it. Truck didn't do shit. They just postponed the game. Look, meet me outside the club. Little push didn't work. Now we got a show. What now? Gonna plant a bomb on the club? Nah. Gonna talk. Okay, good. Cause I thought... Bring your heat. Hey! Come on. Time to lay it out for those little idiots. Their 15 minutes is up. Hey, wild idea I got. How about we forget the whole thing and just enjoy the show? Please stop. Won't be no show. And you're gonna help me make sure of that. How might we do that? Simple. We get in the club. Find the little slut's dressing room, do our thing, Delta. So, step one. Any idea how to get in? Let's look around. V! That's your ass for fucking Sector D. Come on. Yeah, you're angling for windfall, but you're gonna be left holding those tickets looking droopy like a flaccid prick. You heard my price. Take it or beat it. Fuck. Fucking gaunt. Told you we should have gotten them on pre-sale. That much demand for this stupid show. Put it to you this way. Two weeks ago, Lizzie Wizzy's gig, even those ticks didn't go as fast. People's gonking over us cracks. Can't get enough. People are single cell amoebas. Swarm anything advertisers throw at them. Whatever, but I'm down to my last two. Want them or what? How much for ticks? V, what'd I tell you? Triple the box office, and they're yours. You nobody gonna pay that? Nobody. Well, gonna be left with nothing to do but shove him right up your ass. Your loss. Knock the price down a notch. We'll talk. Oh, for fuck's sake. What if I could, Chumba? But no dice. I gotta walk away with something in my pocket, too. You get me?
Heard they're huge in Mumbai and Tokyo. Know how much the gold circle tickets went for? More than our last bonus, Chew. No fucking way. And that deal with Kiroshi? You know our guys tried talking to him. Heard a hundred million practically popped their off his chrome. Still got on the manager's list, got passes. We'll see what the million Eddie fuss is about. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Tickets? All right. Gotta get backstage. How's it looking pre-show? Everything in order? Yeah, had some hiccups with the sound. Little starlets one of their own matrixes. Some custom-made Japanese shit. Boys couldn't figure out how to link it all up. Don't know. Apparently it's all good now. Yeah, sound system. Must be one of those smart vocoders. Do the whole damn job for them. Chum, come on, help us out. We left him inside. No, can't. Try the main door, they'll check the list. Yeah, but by that time, the holler projectors be on and out of whack. I'll have to recalibrate, no way this show starts on time. And then sayonara, Chum. You're out, cause ain't no way we're taking the fall. Fuck, all right, go. Staple them to your fucking foreheads next time, will ya? Thanks, pal. You just saved the show. Recalibrate hollow projectors. How you even know shit like that? Past life. Work backstage for Ji Hung for a time. Learned some things. <laughs> Finally came in handy today. Fucking Japanese markers. How the fuck am I supposed to know what goes where? That's it. Fuck it. I'm going back to install the feet cake. gonna chat who the fuck are you the fucking guy you robbed carrie uridine carrie son i ain't your son this ain't a meet and greet either hey hey 
Hear him out. This is all a misunderstanding. Clear it up, and we're gone. But, Kerry-san, what happened? We had a deal, didn't we? Oh my god. Is this about that N54 interview? We, like, didn't mean to offend or anything. Old doesn't mean anything anymore. No wonder the truck didn't get to him. Even dumber than I thought. Wait, 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 wait. What's this about a deal? We signed a deal with MSM to play Carrie Sans user friendly. It's like our new single for the North American leg of the tour. Over my dead body. But we're going to bring your rock into a new era. Isn't that what you want? Rock? You? Okay, let me tell you something. It's been claimed before, but you actually did it. Rock is dead, and you killed it? Congratulations! Your manager contacted ours, said you wanted to work with us. Kovacek? The, the fuck? He, he never even asked me. The fucking corpo cunt bag. Listen, Carrie san that cover is an expression of our love for you. Please. Let's work something out. Rock might be dead, but Carrie's blind if he can't see these girls got potential. Looks like the label fucked you all. You're their pawns. They're playing you. Looks that way. Fuck. You know, got nothing against you. The sitch. That's what's fucked. Well, you chained your gonk ass to the corpos. What'd you expect? We'll talk to the label, Carrie son But right now, we'll make our displeasure known. Your song's not in the set. We're calling off the concert and suspending the tour. Seriously? You'll lose millions. They'll lose even more. Well... Okay. You girls... You're all right. What I said earlier, I... No biggie, Carrie son Even monkeys fall from trees. Right. Let's go, V. Wait! Carrie san can we get a pic with you? Just... as a souvenir? Um... Pff. Why the hell not? V, do the honors? Hang on, let's get a selfie. All right. I think we got it. Thanks, Carrie san Um, so, you working on any new songs? We could maybe pick one for your single. <gasps> really? Yeah, gonna stick around some, V. I mean, look at them. Girls need help. Thanks. Yeah, have fun. Carrie son maybe you'd, like, want to hear about our new single? About? Come on, talking about music's like fucking in a bed of azaleas. Unnecessary, uncomfortable, and ultimately, kitsch is all fucking get out. Huh. I kind of like azaleas. So, maybe you'd listen to some tracks in progress? We're working on loads. Uh, no. Rather, we didn't get ahead of ourselves. Not that chummy just yet. Then, like, at least give this one a chance. Just send it your way. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. It's not complete, tripe. Like the title enough, she's kind of catchy. Indirectly metaphorical.
password to get us the fuck out of here. Carrie, hey. You got plans this evening? Cancel. Go to Dark Matter on Woodland. Might not know the place. Don't really advertise. Well, what's the occasion? Us cracks. We never celebrated our little victory. Go around back and tell the bounty you're with me. I'll let you in, no problem. Don't be late. This elevator is out of order. Sorry. If it's out of order, why are you here? Out of order for Carrie Uridine's guests, too? He's expecting me. In that case, enjoy your evening. Trust a word that comes out of my mouth. Sweet little eyes. Only way I can get at the truth. Now, girls, how was it to work with the legendary Carrie Uridine? Carrie Song is the most sweet, most lovely man in the world. We met Carrie Song when he came to the dressing room. Love at first sight. He is wonderful. So sensible and so, so naughty. Our carry 
Magic Boy. Carrie, over here! Here! Thank you. You're breathtaking, you. Carrie! You're breathtaking. V! This is V, my, uh, right hand. V's the little bird that shows up when I gotta wrap up and run. Sorry. V, V, quick question. What's it like hanging with Carrie Uridine, a living legend? Off what? It's a wild and crazy ride. V. But hey, can't complain. Thanks, but I really gotta run. Late for my next thing already. Let's go. Unless you feel like giving a few more interviews. Hey, come with me. I want you to meet someone. Me. Inspector. His old friend. Met him walking in Memphis. Off beat. Hey, just... Love it for a Hey. Many different stuff. kind of loving and different beginnings. Special rate for your friends. Let's see what you got. Ah, you could talk biz later. Come with me. I want to show you something. Congrats, Care. Decent show. Now that that's behind us, what's Carrie Uridine's next mission? Hit on Kovacek? Very funny. But yeah, not about to let him get away with it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. But the bastard's gonna regret making me sign those papers. You try to get out of that deal with the label? Ah, let's be real. Say I break contract. Then what? Who's gonna release my new tracks? Who's gonna deal with distribution, promotion, influencers, media? Labels have got them all in their pockets. You're out with them, you're out, period. Well, you'd be free. Seriously? Free to sing until you're blue in the face? Nobody hearing a thing? It's just another kind of cage. Show you one of my favorite spots in Night City. Don't come here often, but when I do, it's important. Should I feel special? Maybe. Told him to shut the place down for the day. <sighs> Can't get enough of this view. Love looking at this city from above. Well? As you fall asleep thinking you're special, then wake up knowing you're no one. Carrie, I can see something's eating you. Thought the whole us cracks thing was me being afraid, of being exposed, of people finally seeing me as another piece of merch, another cog in the corporal machine. Sell out your eye. Show an Asian pop starlet's a good time for cash, fame, and a chance to remind people he's still fucking alive. No truth to that? There is. But that's not what's important. Real problem's deeper. Way deeper. Talk to me. See, thought I was afraid everybody think me another corpo slave. And I was just afraid I'd be in someone's shadow again. Again? Lived in Johnny's for years. Part of the scenery, machinery. Helping him shine brighter. Never believed I'd make it on my own without Silver Hand. That why he left Samurai. Fuck. But you did make it. Big, too. Only diehards remember Samurai now. You. Everybody knows your name. 
You think that changes anything? Wake up with the same thought every damn day. That I might somehow fade into this town's steam, stench, murk, for good. Night City is the city of shadows. Done everything I could to walk clear of them for years. Fuck. It's time you stop being afraid. You don't need to be. <laughs> Think you can drive the shadows away? You'll be fine. Without me, too. Fuck. Yeah, I sure hope so. Yeah, we should get back. Everyone downstairs is waiting. For you. I know, I know. In the knock back a few to this town tonight. And me in it. But I'm gonna stay up here a bit longer. You go ahead. Okay. See ya. Gary, hey. Drop whatever you're doing. Meet me at the marina. Don't make me wait. Say no more. On my way. In for a real treat, V. Uh, Night City Marina, Pier 4.
scallywag. Care to come aboard? Up for a cruise around the bay? Kicking it with old Carrie? What's the occasion? New beginnings and life's loops. Life's loops? V, please don't make me ruin the surprise. You coming or not? Okay, yeah. Sounds promising. I'm in. Music to my fucking ears! Off we go! Now if I can find that button to raise them. Dad, fuck it. Seamurai, all ahead! Nice axe. It's a Lancaster, custom built. Only five ever made in this series. I got one, Militech Chief's got another. The other three, yeah, fuck if I know. It's tailored with a reverse polarity pickup, ebony frets, and one silky smooth Kaimar vibrato. And see this rusty color on the strings? Supposed to be the blood of legendary blues man Dennis Ford himself. Is that your song? Don't recognize it. Cause it's new. Riff's been bouncing around my skull for a while now. I feel like I'm onto something really special here. Okay, so let me hear what this is all about. Like I said, life's loops. Uh, breakfast cereal? No, 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 no. Loops. Cycles. One chapter ends, another begins. Life's full of them. At least my guru tells me so. Your guru? Yeah. I got spiritual needs. Visit Kian every couple of years. You know, he's got this yurt in Tangland. Middle of fucking nowhere. Off grid, net blockers included. Our last meet, Kian told me that the time for closure, loop completion, had come. That's why we're here. You and me. This, um, closure. Has it got anything to do with Johnny? With you battling shadows? Uh, nah. Uh, well, maybe a bit. Because, you know, managed well without him. Built my career. Made my fortune. Me. But damn it. No matter how hard I try, I can't forget him. Yeah. I'd rip him out of my head if I fucking could. <laughs> Think I know the feeling. I'll bite. Tell me about these loops. Okay. So, first tune I ever wrote that was worth a damn, I wrote it to see. And you notice? Fingers are onto something fresh again today. There's a loop for you. What was that little number? I know it. Bleed the beat. I you know, wrote it during a cruise ship game. The decks, pools, more pools, buffets, shrimp, you know, bells and whistles. Everybody thinks the song's about sticking it to corporal fascistas. But actually, it's... Didn't just make music on that boat. Busted my ass, serving drinks, waiting tables. Free time I, I composed till my fingers bled. I had to watch out not to stain their precious porcelain. And there it is. A song about bleeding in service of the rich. People hear what they want to hear, though. But man, was that a hit. One of Samurai's biggest. Just like this one will be. Fresh. Raw. Real. And 
and you need company for that? Not just your company. I needed you, V. Been thinking about that us cracks fiasco lately. About how you helped me. A lot. You shake things up, V. Make me feel... I, I, I mean, before you came along, I was stuck in the mud. Scared of my own shadow, even. And now? Got me thinking about a new song. A new album, even. Real fucking thrasher with a new soul. Like everything from now on. Had what I think folks call an epiphany. Could just be what folks call maturity. You'll see. No more mayhem, no more shady ass schemes. Done with that. Well, starting tomorrow. Gonna fucking help me? Or just stand there like a gawk? <laughs> Chaos and destruction. Why the fuck not? Grab something heavy. And no regrets after owning a trashed yacht. My yacht? Honestly think I'd name my boat Seamurai. Who's the fuck is it? LD Kovacek. Kovacek. That Kovacek. Mm-hmm. Never got a chance to properly thank him for the us crack shit and a few other things. Do something and smash it. This one's on LB. Okay, let's rip this boat to shreds. Well, well. Finally ready to part. Either he's gone senile or he's finally wising the fuck up. Could be either. In you? Remember when you woke up in that scrapyard? That's where he is now, being reborn with fuck all to stop it. It's time for the grand finale. Do the honors, V. Huh, baptism by fire and water. A fucking man. Settling scores. Well fucking said. Suck on this, COVID check. Race you to the beach.
think I ought to start using my own pool more often. Come here, kid. Just hold your breath a little ways. Reek something real. Beautiful, isn't it? Somebody has to have seen the smoke by now. If the Seamurai sails another day, I'm gonna rip my hair out. I think I should have loaded more girls. Or come with Black Market C6. What do you think? <sighs> Never mind. I had fun. You? Gotta admit, not bad. It was fucking wild. To settle that score? Mm. To mark a new beginning. Thanks, V. Ah, oh, hell of a night, huh? Felt like Samurai's first few gigs. A little sloppy, man. The energy was fucking raw. <laughs> nice twist of events. I gotta admit. Alright. Let's get out of here before the wind flips and we get flooded by that stench. You need a ride? Of course I do. Come on, then. Oh. So what did you do after Samurai tanked? Betty went to go find himself on some shithole beach in Took the Took me a while to pick myself up. Spent two years out on Masbata. Went back to my roots. What'd I say? High out of his mind all day, spent all night fucking anything that moved. And? Help it all? <laughs> in the end? Yeah. I think the media got the rest of the story. How's the new album coming along? Mm-hmm. Thinking about calling it Carry Uridine. It's symbolic, you know? A rebirth. I listen to the new tracks, and it's like I'm in a goddamn whack museum looking at an old me. A little freaky, but still fucking awesome. Let me have a listen. Eh, uh, not yet. Still too rough around the edges, but it's getting there. How's things with us, Craigs? Coming along? Yeah, just sent me a demo of theirs to check out. You know, that'll never be my world. But hey, I'm happy to add a little blood and chrome to their fake pop slicing dice. How's Kovacek? Throw himself in the Del Coronado yet? <laughs> yeah, he will. I'm done with that dick wipe. 
cutting that contract, tossing him out with a trash. Even if I gotta throw a few extra eds his way. What happens then? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> it's what I like to hear. You know what? A little anarchic gesture back there. I kinda liked it. Me too. Just hoping the us cracks could have liked it less. And speaking of anarchy, how'd you get into this? This, uh... I mean... You're asking me why you know. I do what I do. Yeah. Why? Just worked out that way. Came to Night City, got my first job, then another... And so on and so forth. But before Night City, uh... Where'd you roam? With the Nomads. Backer family. But it fell apart. Now I go it alone. Ah, now I get how we lost the cops so fast. You all, it's in your blood. Like you're one with your ride, huh? Ah, stereotypes care. How many nomads you know besides me? Uh, hold up. I had my nomad BD phase. Fucking wild ride. Oh, and we had a stunt guy from some clan once. Brought him on to do the Born Stupid video, yeah. That's what I thought. But, uh, all right. Right, you're back. That's cool. I'll just talk to you. 